or one off, two wins. That one goes out to the guy who said, I should have bet zero to one. You would have lost all the same, brother. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. This team isn't even that good. <laughs> it's a cheesy cake. Cheesy Poets is kind of good too, though. Because I was, I was, you know, I had a joke in my head. And the joke was something like this. Poets, sorry, I didn't run the casino. Sorry, sorry, I forgot about the important part, the casino. Poets will really be like, oh, I'm so fucking sad. Oh, I have such a tortured soul. The only way I could possibly exercise my tortured soul is by writing it down and making sure that the last, the last word of the second line sounds very similar to the last word of the fourth line. Oh, uh, the only way I could possibly express my pain is to do it in such a way that the last word of every line sounds a lot like the last word in the line that preceded it. Anyway. That's just music? Well, we've, we've done this bit before. I always laugh when people are like, hey, that song's not good because they broke a rhyming rule. You really judge like your favorite music based on how much they adhere to how, how much the words sound alike? You know what you should listen to? Pentatonics. One, two, three, four, five, five. Wonderful voices. Bow. Best poems don't rhyme. For example, baby shoes worn, never worn. By the way, not the saddest story ever written in five words. Because it's four words. Wait, no. For sale, baby shoes never worn. Six words. Okay. Saddest story in six words. For sale, baby shoes worn once. That's a sadder story. No, maybe the baby just outgrew them. Okay, maybe the baby didn't like the shoes. For sale, baby shoes, never worn. They never fit in the first place. For sale, baby shoes, worn once. My baby was kidnapped by aliens the first time we put the shoes on. But they left the shoes. You know, you got to use your imagination sometimes. What am I doing? Very good question. They're all bad? Is that the joke? Thanks to you fuckers, now I got pentatonic stuck in my head. So guess what? Guess what? This is what you get. When that happens, this is what you get. Now five is such a magic number. Because five is how many there are in our band. I forget this is on Sesame Street. If you know, then you know. Shit makes me want to throw up. You're gone. On, let's just create a, a unit that could survive in theory. Their Christmas album is a banger. Montana viewer spotted. During Sporkle, my roommate thought you were a professor for my Zoom class. Honestly, that, why would that offend me? That doesn't offend me in the slightest. Why would you set it up like this? Is, are you an idiot? You're also, you're still going to die. I, that's, the way we phrase that as a compliment is NL. My roommate thought you looked professorial. That's a compliment. That's complimentary. That pentatonic Sesame Street song is a banger. It's the, probably the worst song actually ever created, and I'm not even joking. One dude in pentatonics where the whole song just goes boom. That's all that's his job in the band. That's what a cappella is. Yeah, it fucking is like so. Cheesy. <laughs> it's, it's so incredibly cheesy. 
That was that's what makes it a good song. You you're the one who's out, Gobby, out of his mind. Hold on, this is gonna work. Obviously our rabbit's gonna die. But once we get the once we get the food going here, this is gonna pop, man. Ah shit. Nevertheless. I live, bitch. <laughs> oh man. All right, now you really got to go. Yeah, now Elmo's got the moves is what it's all about. Anytime, day or night, na 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 Elmo's got the moves. Gonna be burp, swizzling a boop. That, now that's actually a slapper. Chills, chills. I don't want you to go up a level, honestly. I think we gotta, gotta find our way out of this one. Bird at the front? No, he's worth more to us dead than alive. Make it make sense. Oops. I didn't just learn what acapella was. Is only after listening to Sesame Street did I realize how bad it is. No offense if you're in like an acapella group inspired by Pentatonix. I'm sure like it's not nice to hear the things that I'm saying right now. Hey, at the end of the day, you know, you can console yourself by acknowledging I'm just one person and my views only represent the plurality of human beings, maybe even the majority, but not everybody. You lived? Is that allowed? Okay, get stronger, get tankier, get stronger, get tankier. Makes me that much wiser. Thanks for making me a fighter. You know, when you really think about it, Christina Aguilera is kind of an acapella singer. Like, she, she's not playing an instrument while she sings. I'm dead. She's singing a cappella, and then there's just, like, people behind her playing instruments. I don't see why she should get a lot of credit for that. You used to be so insightful. What is going on today? Hold on. Mr. Mr. Insightful, Mr. 723 messages in chat. Question mark, question mark, question mark. What the fuck is going on today? What the fuck? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Were you abducted by aliens? You're weird today. What the fuck is going on today? What is happening? That was a sentence. Question mark. Are you experiencing ego death? Are you, have, are you experiencing medical distress? There's like 10 messages in a row that say we're, you're living in the Berenstein Bears universe. Wait a minute. You must be... Hold on. Tell me the truth. Are you the alto singer in Pentatonix? This would be so embarrassing for me. I hate when... Because so, sometimes I've, done, I've talked shit about a game just like telling a joke and then people have been like the devs in chat and I'm like, uh... Is that what happened? Like I feel bad about it because I... Hold on. Slash user real. Boo, boo, boo. Let me see here. There's no 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 new message. Following since April 26, 2022. What the hell? You don't even know how I used to be. April? That was like last week. I thought you were going to be one of the people that was like, oh, your Isaac episodes in 2015 opened my eyes to stoic philosophy. So you thought, what, what the hell were we talking about in April? We were probably just saying morb like every two sentences. Oh, I'm going to morb this guy. Get morbed, idiot. Wow, look at this guy. He got so morbed. Anyway, sorry. I love, I love all the chatters <laughs> equally. <laughs> oh, by the way, you get added here. Okay, how about one of these? Oh, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't beat this team. Wait a minute. I can draw this team. I 
I can draw this team. Your Isaac episode in 2015 opened my eyes to this middle finger? I What did I do to deserve that? What I, I didn't do anything. I'm literally just trying, like, out of the goodness of my heart to provide entertainment. I mean, look at this build. You really think this was the build I'd be running if I was, if I was doing my best? Three level one hedgehogs with pineapples on almost all of them? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happening? Hold on. Oh, no, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw. Middle finger never gets old. The middle finger is actually insanely hilarious. Because it doesn't... Like, it's not anything. Like it's, like, it's just a gesture. The fact that the person giving the middle finger, myself included, thinks that it has power is so funny. I also... I'm, I'm a little surprised that they put the middle finger emoji into the emoji keyboard. I would have thought that, like... A Republican senator or congressperson would have been like, we need to petition the Silicon Valley giants to take this offensive gesture out of the emoji keyboard. I I'm honestly was a little surprised to find out that it made it into the dictionary. But anyway, here's my, my problem with the, the white tiger, okay? We combine hedgehogs, we keep a pineapple, that's fine. But you still die on the first hit. So making you level three is kind of sick, but it only, eh, you know, it's probably worth it. Ah, but this is more fun. Wait, you... Okay, fine. Keep the pineapples out there. I can make you live through the first hit. So I'm, I'm just running it through in my head, okay? First hit, you die. But let's say you live. If you live, you're going to be level three. You're going to get hit... You're going to have 1 HP, you're going to get hit, you're going to give friends 3 HP. You're going to go up to 4 HP, then you're going to die on this hit, because this is going to do 4. But if I could get you to do one, one more. If I could give you one more, you would live long enough to attack once. But does that even matter? I don't know, could be fun. It makes way more sense to just level you twice versus the peacock, honestly. Because the peacock will get there anyway. And then you'll get one HP anyway. I'm not sure if that does enough, though. I'm not sure if it does enough to keep you alive. Level two hedgehog would kill you, which is also honestly fine. But, like, I'm, I'm in the middle of my Sudoku puzzle right now. Oh, shit. It's me, but stronger. Oh, you do well, of course, if you do something, you could make it harder for me to survive. <laughs> Oh, if you're gonna take an action, then sure, I could, I could be punished by the action, but... Okay, some HP. Just where I needed it. Now we could probably move you up a little bit. Honestly, I know we're on lethal. Why don't you take a cucumber? Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I don't even need you, but four gang looking good. No, we got it like seven or eight more draws to come first, okay? This one actually is going to be a win. If we just fight against vulture teams, we'll win every time. Five gang. We don't even need this. I don't even know what I'm looking for. But I know that, like Bono, I still haven't found it. Yeah, I guess. Sure. More HP, also good. Bono, this middle finger? I'm not even... I'm not Bono! It's not offensive for me.
please ban this guy. He's been spamming some weird stuff in chat. I go look at his chat audit. It's just endless messages that say, do almonds have titties though? I feel like I got baited into looking at a, at a D's. Did I get D's in chat? Five wins for that is kind of, is kind of okay. Answer the question. I know the next question is like, oh, do almonds have titties? If not, how do you milk them, Greg? Okay, it's simple. You put them in your nut bag and squeeze. How many wins will we get this time? Three crickets. I would prefer to not go up against. Be a dry organism. I would prefer to not go up against an iguana right now. Piece of shit. I don't believe it. Squeeze your nut bag? Well, I can't stop you. It is the internet. Oh! <laughs> bison run? Early bison run? Don't. I lived? I lived. I lived. This is insanely good tech. I'm still living. I remain alive. We win a round. Anything could happen if you win round two. What about a hedgehog, though? I, I don't think the aardvark is as good this week. It's still tempting, but there's a little bit of like a hangover from, from last week. Okay, you should be buffing. Run the casino. Casino, it already ran. It ran. Have mercy. Call off the dogs. I'm rolling. Sure. Is there, was there a, a sale on mosquitoes? Is that what was happening? Some kind of mosquito sale? We lose these. Dude, I went to see a urologist yesterday to get some info on a vasectomy. The dude asked if he could check my balls and he actually squeezed them hard. That's a very funny comment. I mean, it's not funny. Because, like, I'm sure that was awkward and maybe uncomfortable or even painful. But it is, it's kind of humorous. For sure. It's, it, I mean, it, it's something you'd see on, like, Curb Your Enthusiasm. He's like, oh, you're not using these anyway. Yeah, was there a med student there? And they were like, oh... I don't want a med student to be here, actually. And then they yelled at you in the hallway and you, got, you caused them to lose their medical license even though they hadn't graduated yet. Because you're... Okay, you, these are React Chord references. But. Roll me. Ah, it's my mistake. I thought we might get something good. But I guess they don't exist. This is actually, like, really good. Maybe the squeeze was the vasectomy. There is that. There is that possibility that he might have just given you one on the house. Am I cool now? Urologist out here for the love of the game. I think he was just making sure that he needed to do the vasectomy. Maybe if he squeezed them hard enough, he would just be like, there's nothing left anyway, man. <laughs> like when you, you know, sometimes you, you left like a can of soda on your kitchen uh, table and then you're like, oh, some soda. But then as soon as your fingers touch the rim, you're like, this shit's got nothing in it. I'm just going to put it straight in the recycling. You know what's crazy? How easy, and this, oh, oh, based, base, base, plus two. Oh my God, he's based. It's crazy how easy a vasectomy is compared to uh, a tubal ligation. 
as a kid, I kind of didn't realize. I was just like, oh, you know, either like, you know, the dad could get done or the mom could get done. Or I guess they both could get done. Or I guess neither could get done. You know, it's a wide world out there. As an adult, you're like, the surgery for a woman is like they make a surgery, they make a, a, a incision in your abdomen. And I don't even know what happens when they get up there. It's like plumbing. They got to like tie some shit off and like solder an edge so that it can't connect and then they you gotta you, you gotta like recover from the surgery for weeks and stuff like that and then the men's surgery is just like you you go in i mean red and link like filmed theirs they did a vlog while they were getting their vasectomy you just sit down in a chair and then they give you like some anesthetic and then i think they're just like Zoop. and then i think you go you can go back to work that day but then you got to take the next day off it takes a day for your brain to accept what happened to it but okay you should go i think you should stay you're gonna get there you know it to be true i'm forget the mosquito we're rolling for more crickets no, this doesn't interest me enough this doesn't interest me enough Ooh, last thing you see before you get killed for giving me bad shops You know what? There's there's some merit to this at least. All right. I am not one of those. I know that it's like it's become a form of birth control, which is also fine. I mean, I guess it's always been a form of birth control. I'm not one of those people that's like really excited to get a vasectomy, but I am also like it's no problem. When the time comes, I'm like, I could do it tomorrow. Honestly, it wouldn't bother me too much. Honestly, there's some nights where I'm like, let's do it tomorrow. I picked up the baby from daycare yesterday. I said, are you ready to go home? She said, yeah, I want to see all the animals. I said, okay. Let's go see all the animals. Walking with her, get to our car. She realizes we're going to the car. She freaks out. She says, no, daddy, I want to see all the animals. I say, what do you mean? She says, I want to see all the animals. I said, you want to go to the aquarium? She says, no. I say, do you want to go to Telus World of Science? See some dinosaurs? She says, no. I say, what do you want to see? She says, all the animals. I say, okay, let's go home and we can uh, see a video of all the animals. She goes, okay. Then I put her in the car. We're driving home. We pull into our house. She starts screaming. She says, I don't go home anymore. I want to see all the animals. I'm like, what, what are you even talking about? So you know what? I, I just turned on Under the Sea and she calmed down in like 30 seconds. And then we left the car. Then when we got inside, she just got distracted by something. But that's when I was like, you know what? Maybe one kid is the right number. <laughs> I don't know what you, what do you mean all of the animals? Then one time I said, do you want to, uh, where, where do you see all the animals? And she said, um, I don't know, a barn. And I said, did you want to go to a barn? And she said, no, daddy, I don't live in a barn. Cows live in a barn. And I was like, that's true. That doesn't get us any closer to solving the situation. I want to see a cricket. Okay, you know what? Go ahead, take a slice. I want to see a cricket. I simply wish to, you know what, you're gone. You're here. Okay, this makes sense. I want to see a cricket. Oh, 27th time is a charm. Kids are crazy, though. We win this round. Did you try explaining to her that human beings are animals? That was the first thing I tried. I'm just thinking about what we do from this point onwards, okay? Because like the pug now, he no longer has a reason. Maybe we get rid of the lionfish, or maybe we get rid of the pug and take a lionfish. Lionfish gives you weakness. But what do we care about weakness on their first unit? Usually people run like a turtle first. 
Well, if you can get it to scale, either way, this is an upgrade. And maybe we can, and then buy a lionfish. And then we freeze a pair. Okay. I tried teaching my niece about gravity when she was six, went great. Yeah, we're heavily in the, in the why phase right now, where she asks why to every single uh, thing that you say. Which is fine, you know, it's, it's, part of, uh, it's part of doing business. Holy cow, we draw. But you get like really philosophical really fast. Like sometimes I'll say like, oh, you have to get in your high chair. And she's like, why? And I'm like, well, you need to eat. And then she's like, why? And I'm like, well, fucking every second that you exist on planet Earth, your cells are consuming glucose and water. And oh, you're right, this is a Louis C.K. bit. A broken watch is right twice a day. But you, like, you, the deeper you get in, you really do get down to, like, philosophical questions. You're like, I don't know, because fucking, like, you can extract energy from atoms by taking their electrons off of them and then using them to, you know, you get the idea. All oh, right, it ends with God is dead. Look, you, you don't have to hand it to him, okay? But he had some bits. He has some good bits. I paid five bucks for the Louis C.K. special in 2012 that he released on his own website. Don't worry, he'll hand it to himself. Listen, come on. He's a, he's a human being like anybody else, okay? He was so funny. I do like that we use was, and he's like, he's still alive. He might even still be funny. I don't know. I Because ha I haven't heard any shit that he's done in like six years or something, but... He's not 2017 special was ass. That's, you know what? He just won a Grammy for Best Humor Album? Really? Hold on. Am I getting two... Am I getting a level two turtle? I feel like that just loses to vultures when vultures show up. I think we got to scale stats as much as possible. And we got to take a croc to kill vultures. And that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. So the turtle is just a temporary solution. For now, why don't you do double damage once? Maybe we replace that later. None of this is worth it. None of this is worth it. I would can, maybe. We got, we got some H. We're, we got like a stable team here. Your vulture showed up earlier than I anticipated. That's disappointing. Saved. Is Stone Cold your favorite wrestler? Yeah, I say probably. I like how he doesn't care about anything. I think that's pretty cool. I think we need a rooster, honestly. The giraffe is only scaling 1-1. One, one. We can do better. And let's wait for carrots now. Yeah, yeah it's a carrot. And then rooster hitting like level 2 would, would be worth more than a bison, I think, for sure. I also love um, how his entrance music starts with breaking glass. I think that's very cool. And then everybody gets like really quiet. I like how he chugs beer. Steve Weisers. Okay, we, we did take a loss there. That hurts. But I think this team's got some gas, man. I'm still... I'm. Hear me out here. You're gone. You're, you're coming in. You're breathing in the chemicals. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think there's a chance. This is not a four-win team. Do double damage? Thank you. We got so saved. That's an unbelievable save. I don't think we're pivoting. Oh, you know what? Actually, we're pivoting to a pseudo vulture team. You can go. You can stay. 
You should come back to life when you die to spawn another two things. You, I'm not worried. I, you need the stats, I think. And then to get you to level two would, would hit nicely. But if we get roosters quickly, which we didn't, we would have preferred to get a level three rooster first. But hold on, this has got a certain something. This would be a devastating loss right here. What the fuck? Shark parrot? Answer so fast it was scary. Whole theater stands up when we scream Matthew Perry. Let Matthew Matthew Parrot. We need a pineapple for this vulture too. Still good. Still good. Minus two? What? Oh, so now we're minus twoing Saturday Night Live now? If they're not safe, who's safe? We don't think SNL's funny anymore? Any questions? David S. Pumpkins? Space Pants. That's not funny anymore? I really need a pineapple, man. I need a pineapple more than I need these two oranges. Yes? Any questions? Still. 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 Probably could have run two roosters instead, actually, but... Oh, man. And then, I shit you not, I shit you not, that motherfucker said any questions, and, uh... It was like, what? <laughs> I'm fucking dead! <laughs> I got six wins. I can't believe that was six wins. What, a, what an insane iguana. Twitter, Rumbleverse. Rumbleverse, 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 Rumbleverse. Twitter, Rumbleverse. Maintenance continues. We expect services to return at 3 p.m. CT. That's 10 minutes. We got one more in us. Sure. I, I think this is a, a decent starting team in general. Burp, 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 burp. No comment. Nice shirt. Love the shirt. Go for 10 wins. Yeah, maybe for the first time today, I'll go for 10 wins. So I'll actually, like, try. Because all the other times, I was mostly just memeing it up. Mostly just having a laugh. All the other times, I was just, just having a little giggle. Just enjoying life, man. Here's the thing, summer's almost over. Gotta enjoy it while it lasts. I'm realizing that pretty soon I won't be able to get my 6,000 steps a day in because it's gonna be raining every day. It's hard to take the stroller out in the rain. The tires get all muddy. We gotta get them changed. Gotta get the, the winters put on or the all seasons at least, I don't know. You think this makes sense? It makes sense to me. Summer most overrated season. I don't know. This summer was actually sick in Vancouver. It didn't rain very much, but it also uh, didn't create a heat dome that killed like 80 people. And also, uh, there were not any huge wildfires. Like, we, we had a great summer here relative to the past few summers, for sure. And then fall, winter, and spring rain constantly. Let's let's level next turn. Let's get this is dangerous, but let's just let it ride for a second. I like the rain. I get it. You're smarter than me. People like the rain. Oh, nice weather. I hate nice weather. They're only happy when it rains. So true, just like that song. I got so sick of no, no offense, by the way. I got so <laughs> I hope I got so sick of that. Our summer started like July first. Like we had so much. Our spring lasted a really long time, and it rained almost every day. 
And then you go to r slash Vancouver. People are like, well, unlike you, I hate wildfires and people losing their homes and uh, the forest burning down. So I love the rain. I'm like, okay, sorry, I didn't realize that you're not allowed to like enjoy summer weather anymore. How about like, I like when it's sunny and don't have a campfire that is unattended or something like that. It's not a sin to be like, like you can like summer and still hate fires. Similarly, don't even get me started on I love the rain if you don't go outside, okay? You're entitled to that opinion, and I'm entitled to push back and say that it doesn't make any sense. One of these, one of these, and a pineapple. A pineapple. Okay, fine. Take, take some... Take one of these. Any questions? I need pineapples. Desperately. It never ends, man. We're just shooting. Don't shoot me. I'll shoot you. Not in Minecraft, I mean. <laughs> okay, we lose this one for sure. Why don't you take one of these? I don't think we're making it to 10, lads. So I'm just going to go ahead and say I think we should have two level two seahorses. And no wildfires. And no wildfires. Hit that kangaroo. Hit that kangaroo. The kangaroo had its position shuffled. Its position was shuffled because it, uh, the other things were shuffled in front of it. It was shuffled. Oh, it didn't even matter at all. You need one of these. And then level. This is bad, man. This is not good. Um, I don't think we need a parrot iguana. I like, I like this. We should hit two units because of the two seahorses that are different levels. Oh, good. We're going to kill two moths. Actually, that's not that bad. My squad! By the way, I'm not anti people who are pro rain. It's just like if you're pro rain in Vancouver, just shut up. You're already, that's a home game for you. When people in Vancouver complain about the summer, I'm like, we really only get it for like three months. Then you get nine months of the, your exact perfect weather like 5 to 10 degrees Celsius overcast and drizzling. So just like, you, October through July are made for you. Just enjoy it. I said like the first week of August, people are like, oh, I'm sick of the summer. I get it. You got like one t-shirt and seven Arcteryx jackets, okay? It's all right. You'll get there. You'll get to wear the athleisure again. Can we get to five? That's my question. Can we can we get to five? Can we get to can we get to five? Can we get to five? Can we get to five? My sister lives on Vancouver Island. She sent me pictures of her and her kids having picnics while we're buried in snow. It, you know, they hate us because we can't, by the way. They hate us because they ain't us. Three wins. That was not good. It was not a good run. Old man complaining about the weather. Dude, I, I, I'm pushing back on this. I know Apollo said, I, he said something along the lines of, I hope we never get old enough that we talk about the weather. Talking about the weather is a great uh, conversation topic. I better rather that than, uh, okay, well, there's really no reason to, sorry, we got one more in us, I think. 
There's no reason to go off on Apollo like this, but I'd rather hear that than like, oh, my DoorDash driver's a little late. Not every conversation has to be about big things. You know, some conversations can just be about like, I mean, every day, I was just checking their Twitter to see if it was up. It, it doesn't seem like it's up now. I'll be a, a panicking bacteria. Me, when NL gets the antibiotic uh, prescription. Um, every day at, when I pick up my daughter from daycare, I've got to make like 10 minutes of conversation with four parents that I know nothing about, right? So we talk about the weather. It's hot. Do you have air conditioning? Yes, no. And then you pivot off of that. Rarely do you get into stuff that's like too severe. It's nice to have a fallback topic where you can just talk about the weather. Rumble versus online. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Slash marker me, slash marker me, then slash marker.